Alrighty guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to be talking to you about the Lower Pro Adventura 140 camera shoulder bag. Yeah, it's an awesome little shoulder bag. Perfect for a DSLR camera with a lens attached. That's what I use it for. I'm pretty sure that's what it was built for. There's a lot of things that it has. It has little pockets for accessories, flashes, battery packs, etc. This front pocket right here is excellent. Let me get it open for you. For you know, smaller things like memory cards. I use it for my Rebel T3 older camera. I still love it. I'm not definitely not like a pro photographer, but <laughs> I love you know that camera and this bag actually works really well for that. So any camera that's about that size, I'm pretty sure they have a bunch of specs on their website about our lower pro with all their bags of like what you know cameras they're best used for. But that's what I use this one for, and it fits really really nicely. So let's get into the design of this thing a little bit. So first off, one thing you'll notice is it has this little buckle on the front. You can buckle it up. Boom. Try and get that with one hand. Boom. Nice and safe, nice and secure. Had this thing for a few years and you know it's never had any issues with it. It's a nice quick release little buckle so you know you can get it in your bag quickly. And below that you have the zipper, which zips all the way around. This is the main pocket, um, so you can see that. That's cool because you have, you know, essentially two layers of protection. And, you know, with gear like that, with like a camera and lenses, it's like that's something you really do want to be careful with. And so it's nice that they've added, you know, kind of multiple layers, you know, uh, before you can actually get in your bag or access anything. The strap that you can see comes on the side. This thing is easily removable. I like it on here, I use it. But you know, if you're traveling or, you know, whatever, and this thing maybe is a bit of an annoyance to you, then you can easily, you know, clip it off and store it back away in the bag. Unfortunately, it's not padded, which might annoy some people, if, especially if you're carrying around something that's a bit heavier. Although it does have this little kind of um, rubberized point at the top, which I, I won't say like does much for for comfort, but also I've never carried anything too heavy in it, so I can't really say for sure if it would be uncomfortable anyway. But you know, just so you know, the strap that it comes with is not padded. So if you do want to get a padded strap, keep that in mind. Yeah. So back to these these snap hooks right here. These things are actually like very durable. Again, for, I've had this thing for years. I've taken this thing on and off a million times, you know, put pressure on this a million times and and it's held up. And this is like this is like five, four or five years, you know, that I've had this thing. And these are still like very much intact. I've never had an issue with these. And I've I've, I've had these kinds of straps. I can't remember what they're called. Snap hooks, I think. I've had them on other bags and you know they've definitely broken. Granted, I was carrying heavier things in those bags, but you know, it's uh it's nice to see that you know these this was obviously built well, it's built quality. You have the inside, let's get in there. It's a nice padded interior throughout. On the side, these little side walls, they also are removable just in case you want to, which is cool. You can kind of, you know, customize it how you like or, or for your spatial needs. And it's padded, so, you know, I, I, I trust putting my camera and my lenses in here without, you know, worry that they're going to be moving around and, and, you know, hitting the walls and breaking and things like that. But I feel like they're safe in here. And even if they were to, like, shift around during a trip or whatever, I wouldn't be worried because it's really nice and padded. It's very soft. It's a nice like protective material on the inside. And I also really dig this burnt orange look too. This is one thing, I don't know if this is why they made it, but, or why they made it this color, but I believe it's because a lot of the camera stuff that we use is black. And you know, especially when you're shooting at night or shooting in places where there maybe is much light, you can open your bag 
look inside of it, and you can see every single thing that's in there. See, I'll put right here, I'll put my battery pack in there, and you'll see, you know, it's like, we're not in a low light room or anything, but you look in there, and even in the darker pockets, it's like, it's like, oh, okay, there's something in there. It's, it's visible, you know, and I can see everything that's in my bag all at once, which is cool. Yeah, overall, nice, you know, and it's, it's not the most, it's not the fanciest in the world, but if you're maybe an amateur photographer, or just, you know, like to take your camera on trips and things like that, these lower pro packs are awesome. And uh, specifically, this uh, little 140 camera shoulder bag, it's, it's great. And uh, I would highly, highly recommend it. All right, guys, have fun.